Ooh. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Did you just see that? This is the day men become men and women also become men. This is the day we are sold Saint Peregrine's Hospital. This is the day we do not die. Max Chat is ready and I hope you guys are ready as well. So I have loaded up our truck with a bunch of extra ammo. We got lots and lots of magazines. We have our shotgun, we have our 9 mil gun and we have the M16 and we're going for the hospital. The biggest, most infested place out here that is not in the middle of the town. It's huge, it's giant and... Well, there's gonna be there's gonna be a lot of traffic there. I believe this right here might lead to the hospital front. And you can see the roads over here are pretty busy. Actually, no, it's gonna be it's gonna be this right here that leads to the hospital front, where all of these Zeds are just chilling right now. Yeah, that's that would be the hospital front over there. I don't wanna go up front. I want to go to the emergency uh, entrance in the back. I would be happy to say that this uh, this area back here is clearer but we all know that's not gonna be correct so uh let's start blasting boys we're gonna have a lot of zeds to deal with and if we can do it silently or at least decently silently i would love to do that that's why i'm going with uh, the nine mil stuff first and i really should have checked that this was a jam and nothing else we really should check we are at like almost 1600 zombies killed I wonder how many we can kill in one day over here. Because I presume there's going to be quite a few. Maybe I shouldn't be shooting through the fence. Let them let them come closer. I think uh, even from these guys that were not even the hostile, we made quite a nice pile already. <laughs> quite a nice pile. I don't think I have any... I don't have any ammo on me to reload. I left all of it in uh, in the car for reasons. Because uh, otherwise we are kind of over encumbered. I do have my M16, which is also silenced. And I wanted to see if I could use this bad boy to snipe some of the zombies instead of the 9 mil. This thing should do pretty well. Can I actually see them there? Please show yourself to me. Alright, I don't want to use this one indoors because I feel like for close quarters this is a... It's a terrible gun, but for outdoors, like out here where you have lots of space, I think it should be perfect. Oh yeah, I can see lots of them inside. Did I shoot two over there? That's actually pretty good. And these things are in like 30 magazines. Can I shoot them inside? Oh, looks like somebody already made it out. Oh yeah, that's a good snipe. Oh, I can actually shoot them inside. Let's go. Who needs the zombies to open the doors for you if you can just... Yoink in there. Oh, here they come. Look, boys, I will make uh, room for you. I will destroy the windows. Oh, I think I see some of them falling from the upper uh, area. Oh, I see an outline in there. Just sniping that lady. Oh, did I have an outline back? Oh my god. This thing's got quite the range. I like it. Looks like a couple of them made it out down there. I'd like to take them out. Who am I targeting now? Holy shit, there's so many inside. Yeah, I'm, I just shot two in there. That's amazing. We will leave those banging on the doors over there. Let them be. I'm going for <laughs> these guys. Oh my god, I love this, this gun. It's the M16 that I'm using. And it's got quite the range. Alright, looks like time to switch to some more shorter range stuff. Because these guys... Oh yeah. I need to go for the right. These guys broke the doors. Oh, all right. We have a couple coming from close by. I don't know if I'm shooting them. I just hear, <laughs> I just hear them drop. Oh, that was two shots there. Oh, that we now we have quite a few incoming. I'm not switching to the shotgun yet. I'm actually saving the shotgun for future uses, maybe for more close quarters once we are inside the hospital, because I presume we're gonna. We gotta need something like that in there. For out here, this 9 mil bad boy is just perfect. Because they're not that fast that they can't catch up to me. And now with my skills, it's pretty much one shot, one kill. And whenever we need to, we can just switch to the big boy rifle and take these bad boys out. Oh, we have a couple nearby. Let's get them done and dusted. 
We still have a couple back here as well. My god. <laughs> it's funny because sometimes I kill stuff I don't even see. Now I can completely understand why Ghoul King always plays with mods like these. Because it's just so satisfying to just shoot stuff. There's just so much stuff to shoot in here. So much stuff to shoot. Never enough bullets. This is a lovely place. I hear zombies being real mad somewhere. I'm not sure if that's... Oh yeah, that, that's that door. I gotta make sure that I don't corner myself in here. That'd be a smart idea. Let's uh, just remove this broken glass over here. Should we have a quick exit if need be? That'd be great. If it's only two back there... It's not that big of an issue, but if it's three, then it could be. Hello, lady. How do you do? I constantly hear glass breaking. I presume it's something that's upstairs, but I, I never know. We have multiples in here. Oh, I can actually shoot that one from the side. I was trying to break the doors. I was not a big fan, let's be real. Okay. All right, that one was a bit closer. Got me scared for a second. Nothing to worry about there. Let's see if I can open the door for you, sir. Yes, I can. All right, time to make entry proper. We're gonna be seeing a bunch over here. And we're gonna have doors from all sides where they can potentially come at us. So we have to be very, very careful. And don't put your ass to the door like I'm doing right now. We did clear this side up, but, you know, new zombies can always come from that side. You never know. And every door is under attack over here. Oh, they're hiding in there. They'll have multiple in here. Let's see what happens if we switch to a bit longer range. Oh, yeah. The rate of fire is also good on this one. Now, that would be probably too short of a range for that gun. So, let's switch. And yes, uh, of course, that one is also louder. Oh, we do not have a magazine in here, sir. Oh yeah, definitely they heard me shooting the bigger gun there. Oh, also they finally broke that door down, so that's good. Lots of banging still to be heard up upstairs. All right, we have a couple incoming. Oh, that's a jam in the perfect time. <laughs> I actually repaired my gun a bit with WD-40. And thank you for all of your comments about the guns, by the way. I really appreciate them. I am i am no gun nut. I don't really know much about guns. So all the stuff you guys said is it's a lot of fun to learn. I see quite a few more back here. So I'm guessing that's it's going to be our next stop right there. Hello, friends. Good shots. We have a couple more friends down there. Quite a few more down here doing their thing and banging on doors no more door or maybe these guys came from somewhere else because those guys are still on the door Oof. all right all right all right all right all right all right did you just see that that is probably all of them coming from upstairs or something like that that is the time we switch to a shotgun feels like it's pretty short at least but it should still mow them down uh, quite well. I'm guessing those are the guys that came from upstairs. Kind of probably broke a door somewhere or something like that. Let's take you out. Come on. I probably shouldn't be shooting back here with a loud gun like that. Because that's going to attract more people from behind the fence. But yeah, seeing that group was kind of scary. It does look like these guys have stayed mostly in there though. So let's switch to M16 and uh, start blasting them as much as we can. Alright, need to reload. There's still a lot in there. And this is perfect because they're nicely grouped up so I can just shoot two at a time. Nothing, <laughs> nothing wrong with that. Good to be uh, silenced because apparently it's silenced enough that they can't actually hear me and come outside. Although surprisingly, they all knew where to go from upstairs. I think it would be much better if you had that other door open. I could see a lot more in here. Not that I complain, I can I can snipe quite a few. My god, this is uh, very productive, you could say. 
very productive all right it's it's kind of hard to target them in there oh still still quite a group over here oh we have a couple back here i'm guessing these either came here or fell through the windows from upstairs oh okay <laughs> a bit bigger group then coming from this side you guys are nicely lined up let me let me switch to m16 there's no real need to take the shotgun out they never even hear me shoot it's surprising how bad are they actually at seeing me usually when you have zombies they always like know exactly where you are it's also annoying starting from this side of the hospital because it's harder to see where the zombies are underneath uh, this stuff and i probably need to do a bit of a reload at some point try not to corner yourself over here try not to have to do some reloading don't worry about it just need enough distance to shoot you all and that wasn't just a lady that's a sir as well oh jesus where did this group come from again that's uh it's a lot of them i just wanted to open a canned tuna and this is what i saw <laughs> all right all right hello sir please stay back there Nice, all right, all right. When they're neatly lined up in rows, we can shoot multiple of them. And that's, oh, there's more coming. There is always more coming. And they don't stop coming and they don't stop coming. We spent the whole day over here just killing zombies and we didn't really make any way inside yet. Huh, interesting, we're getting queasy. Even with the, even though we have a gas mask on, I wonder if this like modded gas mask does not protect us from getting queasy. Because usually, when you are among so many corpses, you will get queasy. You will not feel good. But if you have a gas mask on, you'll be fine. Up here, there is a house somewhere, right there. I don't know where the road is. It's kind of hard to see. But uh, I'm gonna go park next to this house and we can spend the night over here are you are you in the window over there yes you are is there somebody on the door as well all right there's not all right let me let me run out then let me take you and sir i'd like to take you as well fun fact this is more dangerous than what we did earlier oh there you are well, probably not more dangerous, but you get the idea. Oh, come on. I just heard somebody break the window somewhere. Would you do that? And why did you do that? It's so hard to see. And for some reason, this gun does not have the light anymore. All right, yeah, we had, we had them inside, I guess. Fun. I don't know where what happened with the light on this gun, but it's just gone. I do think we do have a hand torch, so... Got that going for us, which is nice. I'm gonna open this door because it's been locked. Let me just check what do we have around around here. Anybody? Hello? Friends? I would like to have a maybe a place where I can sleep where not 17 zombies are gonna bust through in the middle of the night. That'd be great. Right, we have this area which we could use as a sleeping area. Alright, the man woke up in the middle of the night, panicked and anxious. That's yeah, great to hear. There, he might be hearing some zombies around or something like that. Doing a perimeter check and everything looks fine, so I'll see if I can get him to sleep once again. All right, we slept till 5:50 in the morning. I'll definitely take that as a as a win. It's good enough. Uh, let's refill our water over here. These guys had not a single piece of food in the whole in the whole kitchen, which is you know unfortunate, but it is what it is. It's time to go back and continue fighting for the hospital. Let's see how our good old killing ground looks today. Looks like we have some friends outside already. That's fine. We are ready to go back in there again. Kind of hard to see once again, but we have a lot outside. Like actually a lot, a lot outside. And I know he's targeting them, but I can't see them, which really, really annoys me right now. All right. We can see, we can see you. It's funny because it targets the man up front and then it shoots the man behind. I don't know if that's on purpose. All right, you're here. Let me switch to my pistol. Still have a bunch just hanging out over here. 
really surprising they don't hear me actually do this stuff, but... Looks like this entrance has been decently cleared. There's still a couple that I see inside. So I presume there's still gonna be a bunch inside. Oh, yes. Definitely still a bunch inside. Let's uh, use our M16. Clear them out as much as we can. That's a gem. And we have a lady coming as well for us. Okay, we actually managed to shoot the one in front. That's, that's pretty decent. <laughs> oh, never mind. That one we can't shoot, apparently. That one is just freaking invincible. Alright, now he's missing everything, and he's not even panicked. Hello, friends. Still a couple of you out here, I see. Really don't need to shoot him from this up close. I could, could have stood back further, but I've got a torch from a secondary. It's time we enter this place. It's so dark in here, I, I really do need that torch to actually be able to see. This place is still, still crawling. I wonder if everybody that was upstairs at some point came down here. All right, we actually have a couple more. Never mind then. He actually looks funny when he's shooting with just one hand. Well, the good thing is, for us is that we are now over 2,000 zombies killed. We're reaching up to 500 killed over here at the hospital. I have no idea how much ammo we use, but... It was actually probably less than I imagined we would, especially since we didn't really use almost any shotgun ammo. So, that's good. Oh my god, they're still coming from wherever this, this goes. Potentially upstairs? Still have a bunch from this side, right? Probably should have cleared these dudes out before we deal with the rest, because uh, I don't, I don't want to have them come into that other side. Yeah, alright. Still quite a lot over here. Maybe we switch to the bigger guns. It's so funny because I see who is it supposed to be targeting and then it shoots somebody behind that person. We have a bunch trying to make entry from this side and I've been actually shooting them from the inside. Didn't really go that well. Alright, somebody is closing in on me somewhere. Oh, uh, two somebodies. Does that guy have an axe in his back? I think that's an axe in his back. That's a good find. X's are always great find. Looks like we have a new big group on this side of the area. Oh, it's a jam again. Have to clear them all out, boys. <laughs> all right, time to enter once again. Maybe this time around with a bit more luck. Maybe we can get further. Still seems like this place is pretty occupied. My god. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Pretty, pretty occupied still. I see you there. Hello, lady. How do you do? I wonder if holding this light in my secondary makes it harder for me to aim. I, I'm not sure how it works. If anybody knows that, please do let me know. I really shouldn't be hanging out with so many corpses. My guy is queasy again. I wonder if uh, I can go the front side of the hospital <laughs> and see if I can make entry there because there's just not that many corpses there. I was really thinking that this uh, gas uh, mask is gonna protect me like usual but it doesn't it doesn't seem to be the case. Looks like we have a couple following us. I, I think I saw oh yeah we have somebody upstairs. Those guys might start falling down. Raining from up above. Nope. It just broke the window, doesn't care about me, all right? Don't worry about me, man. Just trying to be not so close to so many corpses. And, like, we've only been in the back of the hospital there. Look how much stuff there still is out here. I really thought we could actually clear, uh, clear the hospital a bit faster. But the amount there is in here... <laughs> it's just... The, the sheer size of the whole place, it's just too much. It's, we'll never be able to clear this in this easily. Up front is a bit clearer, which tells me that we have moved a lot of zombies in the back. Oh, yes. Still a couple in here. It's kind of hard to see them, but might as well keep on shooting. As long as something goes green there. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's, that's a lot back there still. Maybe that would be the shotgun time then? Of course, using the shotgun is also going to make more noise. So, uh, that's definitely not going to help the situation. Alas. That's fine. 
probably did not need the shotgun because those guys back there are still just back there. Never mind. Switch to 9 mil again. How about you, lady? Oh, I can't help you. I'm sorry. I can't open this door. Can I open the other one next to it? Nope. All closed. If I can shoot them back there without them even really caring about me and just making sure that the guys that are banging on the door over here, I keep an eye on them and make sure I move before they actually break through. That'd be great. Some of these shots I don't actually see a hitting anybody. That's unfortunate, but it is what it is. There you go. They managed to get through. It doesn't stop us. It seems like sometimes instead of actually shooting the guy that it's outlining, we shoot like an object behind them. And I do actually remember Ghoul King talking about that same issue in like his uh, sprinter zombie playthrough. All right, everybody nicely uh, stack up and let's do this. There is a few of you that still need to go down. If we can snipe them from back here, we can just do this. Oh, that one just fell from up above. I'm not sure where they're coming from, but uh, that could be dangerous. Now you can see, since they did lower the sound range of all the guns and using a suppressor as well, it's just, it makes such a difference. Like we have zombies standing there, not actually coming after us. We are only a couple of shots away from leveling up to level five in aiming. Are you gonna be the one, sir? Yes, let's go. All right, aiming level five now. Hopefully that makes a bit of a difference. I'm guessing this whole thing is a pharmacy, right? If I can get some beta blockers from... Oh, no, it's a toy store. You would you would assume this would be a pharmacy instead, but that's, that's fine. I mean, there's just a giant group just standing out there on the other side of this hallway. Just, just chilling. They don't really care. I'm not playing as inconspicuous or anything like that. It just seems like these... These zombies are stupid. They don't care they're being shot. Great, we are getting drowsy, which is just amazing and awesome. Always good to be drowsy in like 5 p.m. That's really not going to help us with uh, clearing this place out. Also, I realize I'm kind of cornering myself over here, which is not a good idea. This seems to be some kind of a cafeteria. Maybe for staff, maybe for uh, the people that come in here. We might be having some coming from behind us. Yeah, there you go. Just one lady so far. Yeah, there's a bunch coming down the stairs as well, it seems. Hello, I did not see you. Where the hell were you, sir? Oh yeah, definitely a lot coming down the stairs still. I mean, oh, that one just fell down. <laughs> I presume there is some kind of a... Uh, upper area over here where they can actually fall down. I don't know if it has windows or not. That sounds like a zombie very close to me. It's so fucking scary. Because I can't see them, but I can hear them very, very clearly. Really what we need over here is a bunch of grenades. So what do we say about the operational hospital? Operational? <laughs> Operation hospital. I don't know if it was a success. I would say it was not a success. We spent two days around here, shooting at zombies, killing a bunch, sure, but they're still coming. They are still coming. Imagine playing on insane sadness over here. That would be glorious. And also never ending probably, especially have respawn on. Going back to the entrance, doesn't seem like the traffic is any better over here still zombies still zombies so we have killed what almost 800 in these two days and we haven't even made it into the hospital we just kind of danced around killing what came outside sure we killed a couple in here oh my god oh let's let's not be cocky you know overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer i have to say i think max chad has been defeated over here today i do not want to go and sleep in that stupid house again let's be real i do not want to go we still have ammo yes to to get in here and deal with this stuff but i think we're gonna go home 
We're gonna let the zombies regroup a bit. We're gonna regroup ourselves. And then we're gonna come back. Just look how many there are still on this side of the hospital. This is the hospital building we never even got into. Still has like just these ones outside. Outside where the parking lot is. And who knows what inside. It's good to be home after two long days of just shooting and shooting and shooting. It's good to be home. We probably should walk a perimeter, but the man is tired. We're gonna have to take stock of ammo that we still have for 9 mil and all that stuff. And then decide, is our next course of action to go back to the hospital and try to clear it out? Or is our next course of action to try to push deeper into the city and get to some more ammo areas find some more ammo so we have an easier way clearing stuff out although we still have decent amount of shotgun shells we still have a decent amount of all kinds of ammo that we never even used for the guns that we haven't actually used so it's time for max chat to have a good night's rest i hope you guys enjoyed this episode i'll see you next time <laughs>